Hi guys, it's that time of the week. If you have an LG G3, let's go ahead and install Android 6.0 Marshmallow for your LG G3. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, so I've been playing with CM13 unofficial version way before this, and it would not boot, uh, but a couple days ago, Sinusian Mod uh, released official versions of CM13. Um, so I finally got it installed on my T-Mobile uh, G3. It is also available, the official version for AT&T, Verizon, uh, the International D855, and of course also the Korean F400, uh, all of the models, and also the T-Mobile uh, D851 I've got here. And it actually runs uh, nearly flawless. I've tested Bluetooth, data, uh, Wi-Fi. I'm on T-Mobile here for JLTE. Uh, you know, everything works flawless. The only thing not working with this ROM uh, is actually 4K recording. Uh, but the regular 1080p recording works just fine. And also, let me go ahead and show you the resolution. Um, you will not be able to choose 4K. But uh, in subsequent uh, updates in the future, that should be fixed. That shouldn't be a huge deal breaker. But if you want to run pure Google Android 6.0 uh, with root, um, you can go ahead and install this. And performance is actually really good. Uh, I found that actually I, performance is actually better than my LG V10, um, which has the Qualcomm 808. I don't know. I just feel like the older quad-core processors are actually better. And especially if you run a ROM, like a Sinogen Mod AOSP ROM like this, it actually runs faster. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the features with Android 6.0. Of course, if you go into settings about phone, uh, you'll find 6.0. If you go ahead and click that, um, you get Marshmallow. This shows you that you have a real Marshmallow. We're going to go ahead and skip the game. Um, and also some of the features, I think if you hold down the recents, it'll kind of switch between the apps. I'm not sure if that's new from <laughs> Lollipop, but uh, that's there. And also Google Now, of course. All right. Um, also, you got the tiles here. You can go ahead and edit the tiles straight from the tile section here. And also, for Sinogen mod features, you'll find it all in settings here. Uh, also, system profile, status bar, um, you know, memory, all that good stuff 6.0 brings, you'll be able to experience. Uh, and this ROM is nearly flawless, and I actually really like it. I'll ha also have uh, CM13 uh, overviews for all, all the other phones, but I want to actually test it out. This one I actually tested out, and I do highly recommend it as a daily driver. Battery life is actually excellent, uh, and Doze mode is excellent also. So it should give you excellent battery life. So if you want to experience Android 6.0, and this one also does come with root, and if you want to uh, enable that, just go to about phone, hit the bill number a bunch of times, go back, go to developer, options and if you go to root access uh, enable it for apps and ADB and you will have full root so it's a great way to get Android 6.0 and root on your old LG G3 actually this is one of the best LG phones uh, that you can mod uh, especially with Sinogen mod ROMs and Android 6.0 Marshmallow um, so if you have an LG G3 definitely check it out I highly recommend it at the worst you can go ahead and back up your ROM Try the ROM. If you don't like it or have problems with Bluetooth or whatever, um, you can go ahead and reinstall, restore your old ROM. But I've had zero problems. Uh, it's an excellent ROM. Other than the 4K recording, I highly recommend it. That is why I'm making a video now. Um, not with the unofficial versions that didn't boot. But I'll have more uh, ROM overviews after I try them all. Uh, this week, I'm going to focus on CM13 for all the different phones. And this is a cruiser-like case, by the way. I know some of you are going to ask. Um, don't forget to hit the like for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, I stay.